Meine Damen und Herren, wir haben ihn! Yes! It's all a show. And I'm the guy wearing the black hat. No, 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 I, no, I say. You will not deny me access to my client. Do you see, you see this? Read it. I am entitled to confer with my client in absolute privacy. Do you want me to call the judge? You will be looking for another job tomorrow. You hear me? Now, you let me see my client? Or are you going to test me? Oh, what is this? of him schnell motherfucker oh, come. how is he supposed to talk to me when, he, when he's got that, that, that gag thing covering his mouth not my problem it stays on oh christ will you just give us some privacy please oh you look like ass man fuck looks like you're at death's door seriously this is not a good look for you Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're going to execute you, and that whole charade is going to be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're going to break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get you, and I'm your fucking lawyer! That pissed me off. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him, and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator, <laughs> popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. Go! Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases. Flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far, we make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Fucking Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man. Schnitt! Gott! Zimmermann! Sie haben Talent. Sie sollten zum Film gehen. Bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> he was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfra, kleiner Liebling, ich bin dein und du bist mein. Liebling, so lieblich und open your mouth. That's it. Huh? How does it taste? Shh. How does it taste? The gunpowder of the bullet that killed your friend. How does it feel? Do you love the taste?
You hear that? That's my attack force. Mm. Moving in on your friends in the garage. You're so boy. I'm gonna go down there now and join in on the fun. Anya. My family. Weeks pass. Or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property. Aiding the enemy. Torture. Terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad. And high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death. Death, Mr. Blaskowitz. Nothing but swift, sheer death. Bailiff!
before the righteous tear off the right!
Mom. Oh, my son. I thought I lost you, Mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurts so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are over, my son. I don't want to go back out there. I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mama. They're not born yet. I... I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to do. Balin! Warm quill to daydreams. Stolen by cold winds of reality. Position. She's dropping it! You ready, Kinderlech? We have less than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady? Max Bombate! Grab it! Oh. Anya, now! Hurry! We have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood or it will die. 
I can never tell you that. Sit. Mm. <laughs> Max is right. We should get out of here. The man ready for transport. Oh God, er ist tot. Scheiße. Das melde ich. Look. Look. He's awake. Hey, look at that jammer bastard. The only person on the planet hard enough to survive getting his head chopped off? It's the Vlaskovich. Can you hear me? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Anila, please show this to him. Look, William. Seth is going to attach this to build a connection between your head and your new body. Anya! Kindle, please, I'm a Nazi family. Please come and help me here. Now, these are very rare Nazi combat equipment from super soldiers. Our fighters found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one, blink twice for the one in the middle, blink three times for that over there. Okay, Ingela, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. I'm not asleep. I'm God, and you got, and you got, and you got, and you. How are you feeling, Mr. Blaskovich? Can you move your body? Yes, you can. Show us. Show us. I feel powerful. Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William. I will murder you. Come, I'll give you some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, no, have you seen Ketzele? Where's to get Jane? Where's to get Jane? Shim Shim. I keep the Shim Shim. Mr. Vlaskovich. How I look? Like a new man, Yingle. A new man. Oh, I look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. There's no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. Exhaust! Max! Max! 
Dios. <laughs> Feel the same way. I have prepared the contraption you wanted. Put it on. Let's see what you can do with it. That's right, Mr. Pleskovich. Now, engage the battle walkers to reach to the top of the wall and climb over it. It's, it's remarkable to see you here standing in front of me. It's just astonishing. You know, detention and public execution were the most well-guarded events in television history. They're protected by the full might of the Nazi war machine. And still, you're standing here in front of me. You know why? Now, the only reason you are standing here is Anya. She never gave up. No, this girl never gave up. When Grace's plan to rescue you uh, failed, Anya remembered what I accomplished with Shoshana. Asked me whether I can do the same thing for you. She was the one who brought into my attention the super soldier, biologically engineered bodies. She even reclaimed all of the weapons you lost at the ruins of the farmhouse. She is relentless, this girl. She's a keeper. Barking all that, Blasco. <laughs> I'd love to pinch your cheeks and ruffle your hair, but if we drop this thing, oh, it'll explode and sink the whole fucking boat. Would you mind coming over here and lending a hand? Nexus! Nexus! Oh, God, here comes the idiot. Stay back, Max. This thing is very dangerous. 
You go boom like this! Oh, say your prayers, we're fucked now! You'll kill us all! No, 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 no! Maxos! <laughs> what in the name of ass tripping fucks has happened? Well done, Max. Outstanding. Oh, well, you're making this old Bodak sentimental, Blasco. We have to get this thing wired before we get to New Orleans. Ah, oh, but it's right good to see you up and about again, Captain. <laughs> I just wanted to get some rest before we arrive at New Orleans. Mm, just such a long ride. Need a few minutes. Can you put your arms around me, William? I met him on you. I seen him and I wasn't afraid no more. Oh, William. And your mother? What happened in the garage? In the garage? First time you tried to rescue me, Frau Angle's men attacked you in the garage. I heard the gunshots. Oh, that was nothing. We had some tricks up our sleeve. <laughs> That's exactly what Super Spare said. Answer my question. Which one? Is this real? Or am I in heaven? See if Grace has a job for me. Put this new body to good use. Is it true what they say, Connie? We are on the way to New Orleans? Yep. What is it that we are doing in New Orleans? Don't know. Some shit. I listen to Grace speak, but she speaks too fast for me. There is resistant fighters in New Orleans? About right. Okay. Maybe they will help us fight the Nazis. Hey. Good to see you, Grace. <sighs> Shit. Blaskowitz, you are one tough motherfucker, you know that? What's all this? All this special shit from Roswell. He brought everything back from Mission Control and dumped it here. <laughs> Never had time to unpack. He was a good man. I saw it go down. There was nothing I could do. What did he say? What? What were his last words? I need to know. He said, it was space aliens, man. <laughs> Motherfucker. He said, Oh, Ingle, how is everything functioning? Hi, Grace. This one of yours? What's this? Well, where did you get this? Especially had it back in Roswell. Said he found it at the crash site in 47. It looks like no, it can't be. It, it, but it all got in you. Sir. Got in you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grace, it's happening, Grace. It's a full-on assault. Have them run the engines as hot as they can. Full fucking throttle, sister. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell them. 
We're on the course for the New Orleans ghetto. Come on in, Blast. Let's have a seat. Now, that ghetto is home to one of the last remaining resistance groups in America, led by a man named Horton. Now, after the war, the Nazis put up all these walls around the city. And then they gathered up all the undesirables and they dumped them there so that Horton and his comrades and all these people are just stuck there, languishing in the worst conditions imaginable. And then, after the event of late, the Nazis, they just dialed up the pressure. Death squads storming the cities, killing everyone in sight. God damn it, they're gonna purge that whole city till there's no one left. We gotta do something. Right on. So now this new body of yours, is it ready for some Nazi killing? More ready than ever. Feel unstoppable. Shh. Like fucking freight train. You are a fucking freight train. Now before we arrive in New Orleans, we need to make a quick detour into Manhattan. So you'll want to read the mission brief, activate the war map out there, and pull up the info screen for the Manhattan district. Got it. Oh, and Blaskowitz, one good thing did come out of all of this mess. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Your execution is all over the news. <laughs> Nazis think you're dead, baby. They ain't never gonna see you coming.